The DJI Pocket 2. This is the best portable camera with the gimbal that fits inside your pocket and enables you creating excellent footage with professional grade quality. What if I tell you that you can get a lot more out of it with these awesome accessories? Let's inspect! Hey, welcome to the channel! This episode is dedicated to the DJI Pocket 2 and its amazing features and qualities that you can further enhance by getting some cool accessories. Disclaimer: Each and every item shown here I have actually tested and used for quite some time myself, and none of these items are here because of a sponsorship. I'm going to show you some that I use really often, some of them which are nice to have, and some which might be helpful under certain conditions. A list with all of them you can find in the description below. And no matter what, if you already own DJI Pocket 2 or plan to buy it, it will deliver a lot better results if you get the right set of accessories matching your own needs. Remember, this device can be much more than just a pocket-sized camera gimbal and it can deliver professional-grade footage. Before buying anything else, make sure to have the right kind of storage. DJI usually recommend using SanDisk Extreme series. And while they're really reliable and fast micro SD cards, there's luckily nothing too extreme about their pricing these days. I would avoid going for something bigger than 128 gigs because otherwise you risk to become lazier. And if the file system fails or the card breaks at some point, which is very unlikely, but if it does happen, you're going to lose quite a lot of footage. I usually go for the 64 gig variations. It's more than an hour worth of recordings in the highest possible bit rates. Okay, let's continue with the basics. These are the accessories that you could buy from DJI directly. They're guaranteed to be a perfect fit and often designed with DJI's philosophy about how to get the most out of the smallest possible scale. If you opted for the standard edition of DJI Pocket, I'd strongly recommend considering buying the do-it-all handle additionally. It's indeed expensive, costing around $100. Besides offering better grip, it also has quarter-inch threaded hole to attach to a tripod, built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, wireless microphone receiver, 3.5mm jack for a wired microphone and a built-in speaker. All of that enhances the functionality a lot and I believe the major highlights are the Wi-Fi connectivity and the microphone input which lets you use any kind of microphone that you like. The other must-have add-on, in my opinion, is the mini control stick. No matter whether you make product videos or shoot beautiful scenes, this is by far the best way to control the pockets too. You can easily apply the needed corrections up or down or left or right. Through the smartphone app, there's a way to adjust the stick responsiveness and speed, varying from ultra-fast corrections, great for filming sports, down to super-slow buttery smooth movements. Might be one of the smallest, but clearly one of the most impactful accessories. Alright, next, let's turn the Pocket 2 into a slightly more advanced vlogging setup. We're getting this basic rig, we're adding a shotgun microphone and lights, you will also attach the basic DJI tripod in case you need to leave the device on the ground. So now you can vlog even at night. The accessories of use here, besides the bracket, this is the Moin Light, a cube-shaped LED setup which can be quite bright, has a few different modes and is smartphone app controllable. The good news is that even if you add this, DJI Pocket 2 based setup is still a lot lighter and more portable than using mirrorless camera and the same amount of accessories. The quality of the sound, especially in crowded places, is going to be significantly better. The not too good news is that it's going to cost you some more money. The L1 Cube itself is around $60. I'd strongly recommend Rode Video Micro for recording your speech, which is at about the same price. The bracket could be around 10 bucks, and for a tripod, it's likely included in the Creative Mode combo, or you can order it separately. For something more advanced, I'm gonna leave a link to my favorite Gorilla Pots, although in this case, you may want to consider a tripod with solid base, like this one from Pergear. Since we mentioned the smartphone app, I guess adding a smartphone holder could make good sense in case you're trying to get larger screen visualizing your footage better. I actually have two solutions to show you here. First one, a good tripod as a grip, then on top the Manx 200 or similar camera QR plate and a basic smartphone bracket for around 5 bucks. For less than $30 you can have that setup. It's too bulky for my taste, but I've seen some friends using something similar. Now the more advanced thing is something called Micro Pro 2 by Scotty Makes Stuff. It's an awesome brand from Australia and they've sent me a few gadgets to try out, 
They are 3D printed and use high quality joints and mounts. If you ever wanted how to eliminate the wobbling while walking, this is by far the most convenient way to overcome it. It works with literally any camera gimbal or action cam where you can use a quarter inch mount, eliminates the bouncing and lets you connect whatever you need a smartphone, a light or a microphone, and it's almost the perfect vlogging stand. Quite affordable at the same time, around 60 bucks. As we mentioned, it's 3D printed, so it's pretty lightweight. You should really check most of these gadgets by Scotty Makes Stuff. We're making a giveaway of the Slim Case and the Slim Creators Case and also the Pro Creators Case. The giveaway is not affiliated in any way with YouTube. You can find more information about this in the description below the video and also on our Instagram and Twitter accounts, so make sure to follow us there. Each one of these cases is a great alternative to DJI's originals, gives you some really nice and functional enhancements. Now, let's see what to do about tripods and monopods of a larger scale. If you're going to film stills or time lapses, usually having a tripod is a great idea. I'm quite a fan of the Rolay carbon fiber tripods because they are extremely portable, super lightweight and have a really great ball head. This comes cheap though, at close to $100, but you can use the tripod for any camera up to 1 kilo, maybe even a bit more. It will fit in any regular camera backpack and attaching the Pocket 2 with an Arca Swiss mount is just so easy. The other good news is that you can use it as a monopod, one of these sticks is detachable and helps you to lift the DJI Pocket 2 so that you get a different and much more interesting angle. If you just want to get a monopod, then Manfrotto have some good ones at a not too high price. Before wrapping up, let me tease all the cinematic fans, of course getting some lens filters is going to pay off with a lot better footage and more importantly, you can follow the shutter speed rule which will let you create some amazing motion blur should you film with manual settings. There are plenty of options on the market, but if you go for a good glass, this will certainly give you better footage. Freewell have this awesome set of filters that I'm sure you're going to like. It's something that was invaluable for me when using the Pocket One series. The great news is that most lens filters compatible with the first generation of DJI's Pocket series are good for usage with Pocket 2. So I'm quite happy with the pack of ND and polarizing filters and we'll certainly get some more awesome footage in the summer. The polarizers are really amazing about adding some vibrance to the sky and to the nature colors. Finally, let's see how we can pack all of that inside the case. If you follow the channel, you know that I'm quite a fan of BBM cases. I recently discovered that their newer models are also quite interesting and you can well see that there's a lot of space to put most of the accessories we've covered inside. I can even fit some more brackets, cables and other accessories that we could potentially use with some action cameras. While most of these accessories are super cool and you may be tempted to buy them just because they looked awesome in this video, it doesn't mean that you really need them. Think about how you plan to use a DJI Pocket 2, make a list with your top priorities and opt for these accessories only which make best sense for your kind of usage. It's true, many of us YouTubers would appreciate all of you buying gear through our links in the description of the video, but what matters to me the most is to help you make the right decisions and find ways to get more out of your pockets too with the least extra money spent. So I really hope that all of that was useful and helpful. Take good care of yourself. My name is Michael, that's the DJI Pockets 2 and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye!